I'm the driver of the Zulu, no, Zero Zulu 40 at Gromont Intermediate Talking Machine and they were requesting a Whitbeat to Glazedale Talking, please. I've now removed the Whitbeat to Glazedale Talking. Can they have permission to set a route up from the North York Springs Railway to Network Rail, past the stop port and proceed to Glazedale when ready? You have permission to proceed to place there. Right, thank you. We've now got the network rail with Peter Glazedale token and permission to proceed onto network rail. This is the authority for the single line between Whitby and Glazedale and it's got a round hole in the top of the key token. Next we've got to remove the NYMR and its key from the ground frame so we can set the route up from NYMR to Network Rail. The NYMR signalman at Gromont. Hello, it's the driver of the Class 25 in Platform 2. Can I have permission to remove number 51 key from the ground frame, please? And permission to pass the stop board onto Network Rail. Right, thank you. I've now got permission to reverse number 1 lever of the ground frame, which is connected to number 51 lever in the signal box. This now puts the derailleur on side in 2 to stop any conflicting movements and we now have both keys, the network rail token and the NYMR NX key which enables us to operate the ground frame which is about 100 yards further on. We've now come to the network rail ground frame at Gromont. It has six levers. Num lever number three takes the network rail with the glacial section Key. and lever number four takes the North Yorkshire Moors Railway and its key. When both levers are now reversed it frees the other levers for operational purposes. Lever number six takes out the facing point lock at the NYMR end of the crossover. Lever number one takes out the corresponding facing point lock from the network rail part of the ground frame. Lever number two reverses the points on network rail and lever number five reverses the points on the North Yorkshire Moors end and then we replace lever number six and lever number one to lock the points. When all the levers are in the reverse position the route is now set and you may give authorisation for the driver to proceed. Normally that is done with a radio, where you give permission for the driver to proceed, but today we're just with a light engine and it's with hand signals. And you don't have to do it with a cloth, the cloth is there just to aid sighting. Once the movement has been completed, we go through the sequence again with the levers of the ground frame in the reverse order. We take out the facing point lock one, we take out the facing point lock number six, we now reverse the point number five and number two. The point locks go back in. We can reverse both keys the locked position 
remove the anna key for the NYMR. The Blaisdell to Whitby section key token. This goes on the locomotive to the des destination where the train's going, either Whitby or Glazedale, and this goes back into the NYMR ground frame to allow working on the NYMR still to take place.
Egton Station. Egton Station, like Roman Station, and most of the stations, will accommodate four Mark I coaches. Take the Whitby to Glazedale token 
replace it back into the token machine on the platform. Further down beyond the stop board is an engineer's siding which to gain entrance to that you need the Whitby de Glaisdale token to go into the ground frame and work in and out of the siding. At present the sidings are locked out to use but the ground frame itself is just beyond the bridge. On each platform at Glaisdale we have two token machine cabinets. The one nearest to Whitby is the Whitby token machine cabinet and the one opposite is the Battersby token machine cabinet. As we've just arrived from Whitby, we are now going to put the Whitby to Glaisdale token back into the token machine. We shall now inform the signaller at Nuntorf that we've arrived complete and that the token is back in the token machine and hopefully we'll be able to obtain the next token for the next section of line. Hello, it's a grand of zero, two, so one, four, zero. We've got to complete that place still, and we'll be the place that's walking back in the front of the ship. Has he got the battery for here? Right, okay then, thank you. I'll bring you back here. The train that we are following hasn't reached Battersby yet, so therefore the section of line between Glaisdale and Battersby is not clear, and the signalman will give us a ring back, or we shall ring him when obtain the next token. In the token machine cabinet we have the two TPWS lights. The top one is telling us that the power supply is there constant and the system is up and running and the bottom one is saying that the the TPWS mat just in front of the locomotive is energized and if we try to go past the system will stop the locomotive because we have not got the token or authority to travel. In the machine we have our next token machine, the set of keys for our next section of line which we will take out as we require. In the, in the uh, cabinet as well we have the red box, the little money box which is, should be, is locked in there we have special authority cards so that if the system fails and we can't get the token out we obtain permission from the signalman we will break the seal in this little box and remove the key the key will open the money box and in the money box we have a special authority card which we shall complete with the signalman's instructions train number authority number but we may proceed with authority of this card and the signalman until they can introduce pilotman's working. We're now going to try and obtain a token again. Hello to driver of 0040 at Glaisdale, requesting the Glaisdale to batter to be token please. We now press the plunger and it goes across and we can turn the token anti-clockwise slowly and that releases the token. I've now removed a Blaisdell to Battersby token, the TPWS light is flashing. Can you have permission to pass the up stop port at Blaisdell and proceed to Battersby when ready? Proceed to Battersby when ready. We've now removed the Glaisdale to Battersby token. This token has got a square head on it. And you'll notice now that the TPWS light is flashing. That is going to flash for five minutes. 
because it has suppressed the TPWS map which is in the forefoot in front of the locomotive and will allow the locomotive to pr proceed. As I said we now have five minutes to clear this platform and in, after five minutes the signalman may allow another train from Whitby to Glazedale. So if we have any problems with the train, the locomotive or any problems that they're going to last longer than five minutes, we must inform the signaller. When we've informed the signaller, he may say that he's already given permission for another train to proceed from Whitby, in which case we must go to 300 yards beyond the points indicated around the corner and place three detonators on the line 20 yards apart. We'll now proceed. suppressed for five minutes. We must proceed over this map within five minutes, otherwise it will be energised again and stop the locomotive as we go across. It's 15 miles an hour across through the points, back onto the single line. And we can see the engineer's signings on the left, which are currently and out of use. And the ground frame is behind the 45 mile an hour speed restriction sign. We're still climbing very heavy up towards so to about mile post 24 where it eases off a little bit. So it's still heavy digging right round this corner and up to beyond the road.
45. We're still climbing and we're approaching Lille Hold Station.
in Bridge 58. And just beyond Bridge 58, we have a 20 miles an hour speed restriction. The speed restriction is because of embankment slip. And it's only a short one. Nine speed 
approaching Wester House Bridge. Wester House Bridge is the summit of the railway at 582 feet above sea level. Our AWS indication was to warn us of Disborough Road level crossing. Disborough Road level crossing is an AOCL crossing. Once through Wester House Bridge, the railway goes to the right, goes to the left, goes to the right, and you come to the next bridge, and just before the next bridge is where you start to break for the 30 miles an hour restriction for passenger trains for passing over the crossing.
now approaching Battersby Road level crossing, the speed for trains in the up direction are 15 miles an hour for passenger trains, 10 miles an hour for other trains. We should be looking for a white flashing light. There's the white flashing light flashing. We proceed over the level crossing at 15 miles an hour. Still on a steep falling gradient, dropping into Battersby. We now have the AWS magnet for the distance signal for Battersby. Now got the TPWS over speed sensors, the mats in case we're speeding into battle speed. The AWS magnet for train speed in the opposite direction for the level crossing. Signal protecting the junction at battle speed with a train stop. Past the signal danger. Fifteen miles an hour. We now have a train stop in the forefoot for the signal coming out with battle speed. Train stop for the stop board, the train's coming out of Battersby. And just over halfway down the platform, we have another overspeed sensors in case we get go past the stop boards at the end of the platform on the ride up of Battersby. With a six coach train, you may stop below the body back the stop board. Seven coach train, it's necessary just to proceed beyond up to the end of the platform to accommodate the train in the rear of the platform, otherwise, you won't be able to run around. This is Battersby's token station. We have two token machines. One is for the Glazedale section and one is for the Nunthorpe section. The Glazedale section have square heads and the, Batters, the Nunthorpe ones have triangular heads. We're now going to insert the Glazedale token and inform the signaller that we've arrived complete at Battersby. Turn the token in clockwise, let it drop down into its groove and telephone the signaler. Hello to driver of 0 Zulu 40 at Battersby. We've arrived complete at Battersby. 
and the players do the packs we're talking about, back in the talking machine. Right? We'll sit and wait for the train to come and then we'll tell you what we want to do next. Battersby station platforms are permissive working. We're allowed permissive platform working. We're allowed to have more than one train in the platform at one time. But this is only for certain categories of trains. It's for zero, which is light engine, passenger trains one and two, and empty stock trains, which are five. We're expecting the train from Middlesbrough, so when the driver of the train from Middlesbrough comes round the corner, he will get a subsidiary signal and be signalled in on top of our locomotive or our train and then um, we can just go out as we need to. Once you've placed your locomotive at the west end of the platform it must not be moved towards the east end of the platform in case of any other trains or locomotives coming in from the west. So now we have to sit and wait until that train arrives. We're now going to simulate a run-round procedure with a locomotive running round its train. To run a locomotive round its train we need the shunt key which is in the cabinet next to that road vehicle at the end of the platform on the right. But before we remove a shunt key we've got to have permission from the signaller to carry out a shunting movement. I'm going to now phone the signaller at Nunthorpe and ask for permission to remove the shunt key to simulate a run round procedure. Hello, it's a driver of 0040 at Battersby requesting permission to remove the shunt key to simulate a run round procedure, please. Right, thank you. Okay. Yes. We're going to, we're go we'll ask for a, to a section token as we run round and do everything as if, um, yeah. Uh, right, okay. All right. We've now got permission to remove the shunt key and we shall now go to the shunt key cabinet machine. This is the site of the former signal box at Battersby and there is a star prize awaiting anyone who can find the knife and fork at this end of the line because this is where Norman lost his knife and fork and he was a young lad. We have the shunt key, it's just like the Annis key at Romont. And to release the shunt key, we've got to press the button, point it goes across, and we can remove the key. If the system is working, and everything is up and running, we have a red light to tell that the thing is okay. So, we've got permission from the signaller, we press the button, the needle goes across, and we can turn the shunt key, anti-clockwise, and remove it. Now we've got the shunt key, which releases the ground frame at this end and a similar ground frame at the far end. We've now removed the shunt key and we're now going to simulate a run round movement of the locomotive through the Stokesley end ground frame at the west end, back along the run round loop and back out at this end. One point we must remember if we're going to carry out shunts if we remove the Glazedale token or the Nunthorpe token prior to going for the shunt key we've got to wait for the signal to time out which is approximately four to five minutes then a two minutes time lapse so we could be stood seven minutes waiting to get the release from the electrical system in this shunt key machine so the best way to do it is upon arrival you re return both the Glazedale or the Nunthorpe token back to the token machine. You obtain permission from the signaller to remove the shunt key. You remove the shunt key and go down to the west end 
and allow your locomotive to go over the west end ground frame and back up the loop and then prior to operating the east end ground frame remove the section key token key for the Nunthorpe or the Glaisdale whichever you're going to run round via and then clear the route and the locomotive then can go into whichever section and come back out but he must go over the behind the incoming signals and press the plunger underneath the signals to clear the subsidiary signal for the locomotive to come back in. Now arrived at the west end ground frame, the Stokesley end of the loop. The levers on the ground frame consist of two levers. We have the left hand lever which is painted blue and brown. We insert the shunt key, turn it clockwise and that removes the lock and we can now pull the lever across and this also removes the facing point lock in the point which is behind us. You can see the point lock going in and out. Once the point lock is out completely we can then reverse the points and the points come across and pull the point to a secure position and we're now set for the movement from the platform into the head shunt and we'll wave the driver out. The locomotive has now gone fully across the points. We put the point back. We put the point lock back in, which enables us to remove the key and take it back to the east end ground frame to do the shunt move at the other end of the shunt. Move it up, and the locomotive can now proceed up the run round loop on the right. We must now go to the token machine and obtain a token for permission to shunt out at the far end. We've now got the locomotive at the east end of the run round loop and we're going to proceed through the ground frame at that end and past the section signal at the end of the platform. Because we've got to pass the section signal, we need authority from the signaller, also a key token for the section that we're going to travel into to complete the run round movement. I'm now going to contact the signal. Hello to driver of 0040 attack me, requesting a, a back speed to Glaisdale token for shunting purposes, please. I've now removed the batteries beat the Glaisdale token, the TPWS light is flashing and you have permission to proceed into the Glaisdale section for shunting purposes. Right, thank you. Token. Upon removing the batteries beat the Glaisdale token, the section signal has cleared and a G for Glaisdale. If we'd removed the Nunthorpe token, we would have had a yellow light and the letter N for Nunthorpe. We've now brought the shunt key to this east end ground frame. The release lever again is blue and brown. We remove the lever to the reverse position, which is unlocked the other two levers. We take out the facing point lock, which works on both sets of points at this end and at the other end. We then move the point blades across with the black lever and we then put the point lever, facing point lever back and then we can wave the driver out of the sidings. Back. Put the key 
the shunt key, put it back in. And the white light will come back on once we move the locomotive off the track circuit. The system is still up and running with the red light. On this demonstration we've shown you what happens if you take too long to carry out your shunt move, the signal will revert back to danger before the locomotive has gone past it. But now we have to go past the signal to complete the shunt move. So to regain the yellow light and the letter G, we must come to the base of the signal post. At the base of the signal post, we have two buttons. We have one for Nunthorpe and one for Glazedale. And if we cannot clear the signal by taking the token out, we come along and we press one of the buttons. We also press one of the buttons if the shunting movement has taken too long and the signal has reverted back to danger. We have a token for the Glazedale section, so I'm going to press the Glazedale button, which should reset the route again. As the locomotive moves forward and strikes into the track circuit, the signal will cancel and go back to danger. shunted out beyond the incoming signal, in this case Bravo 2, Battersby 2, which is on the Glazedale section, and we now need to clean the signal to put us back onto the top of our train in the platform. We have to press the plunger at the base of the signal for the signal to clear. I shall go and press the plunger and then the signal will come up, the subsidiary signal allowing us to go onto the back of our train. signal is now cleared, that means we may proceed as far as the line is clear up to an obstruction, buffer stop on the back of our train. Just go as far as they can, this is the track circuit. We've locked this set, love it. Pardon? This is all locked up, yes. 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 Permission for the Battersby to Glazedale token for 0714. 